Somebody just got a silver. Let's see what it was. What kind of silver was that? Yeah, a milled. A milled, a milled silver. I just got a solid 16 here and just popped it up, and it's going to be a button. There it is. We'll clean it up and see what it looks like. It's got some type of writing on it. I've dug a few things. Uh, yesterday we got to go out just a little while and um, about an hour and a half. I dug a, this is a, a, a Royal Army uh, button from the early 1800s. I got like a, I don't know, I think maybe pewter, it could be silver, a little button there. Got a thimble. Got to research this. This could, it's a small one. It could be a Georgian thimble. And got a little flat button this morning. And my best find yesterday was this. Uh, when I dug it up, I thought it was a KG3. It's looking off to the right there, but it was got muddy. And uh, 1717. It's actually a KG1. I dug that yesterday. This button here, I think it's just going to be a. It says, "Are you where?" commerce or something like that or some type of name on it i can't read it can you read that uh guy Ge guyther company it's just going to be a, probably an overall button some type of button all the guys are out there in the field i decided that i'm going to come over here since this is not plowed and worked up that means probably less people have walked over this it's kind of high i got my big blue coil on my uh, big 15 inch so i was just going to work kind of this area here down by this creek and another creek right down there and got a great 28 signal and it's about uh pretty deep about 10 inches deep i just popped it up i don't know what it is yet it's going to be a big copper let's see it's going to be an old copper and it's going to be more of a modern copper it's going to be a 1922 1922 all right let's keep going there's this one in here there's got to be a big hammered in here or another big old copper an old copper maybe a, a william the third it's just got me a solid 1819 jump up to a 20 but stayed about 1819 and that's what a gold stater is uh, a Celtic gold stater is ringing up as. But it's not a Celtic gold stater. Let me show you this, still in the coin ball. That's one of my favorite sites right there. It's an old copper. I don't know what type of copper it's gonna be. Uh, so let's clean it up. Let's see what it is. Well, it's not gonna be as, it's not gonna be as old as I thought. It's gonna be a King George V again, 1914. It's gonna be a half penny. Well, I really haven't found a whole lot. I found those two coppers, and I just found another copper here. It's pretty deep. Couldn't find it, but it's sitting straight up on the edge. I kept digging for it, digging for it. As you can see, it's right here. All right, that's going to be an older copper. That's not going to be... Now, let me toothpick this and get it cleaned up, see what we what we got. Well, I can make out a little bit of Britannia on the back here, but I uh, can't get the bust out. As thin as this is, I think it's going to be a KG2 uh, half penny is what this is going to be. I'll clean it up later on once we get in and see if we can't get some more. There's some markings on it. I just out here in the field, I don't have any toothpicks. So, all right, let's keep rolling. Rang up like a 28, uh, 25, I mean, 25. It's pretty deep, though. Brandon just got this. What is this? A Celtic gold stater? Yeah, a Celtic gold stater. It's an uh, Addy Damaris. That would be about 45 BC, 40 BC, yeah, somewhere in there? I think around, around 45 BC. I think is what man, that is awesome. Thanks, man. Bring it up at 18 on the Equinox. What was it hitting up on the. Uh, you no, know, it, it was so deep, it was kind of the numbers were real jumpy. Well, congratulations, man. Yeah. Well, we stopped for lunch and. Uh, we came over here to another field and uh, we just got out here. I'm just looking at myself in the camera. My face is so red. I'm so windburned. Anyway, I got an 18 and I dug this up. Check this out. But I got some type of, looks like it's got a crown on it or something. 
Still got the shank on it. Nice flat button. That's promising. First target in the new field. I think it goes like that right there. You see that crown? I have to see if this is not a military button. I'm not sure. Definitely is a neat looking button. Right down there in that low spot is where a 1500s house was. That's where I'm headed. So let's keep going. Well, I just got this. It's a milled coin. Bringing up a 24. Can't get anything off of it. It could be. It could be. This could be a bronze coin. I have to. This looks bronze. It's definitely not uh, copper. Bringing up a little different. There's a little bit of definition on it. Looks like maybe right there. It's kind of hard to tell. I have to ask the local guy here. Hey, I'll take it. Well, I'm hunting right down here in this low area where that house was, 1500's house. I just dug that bronze coin, I think, and just popped this one up. This is going to be a copper. You can tell by the green. That bronze, that could be a Roman coin that I dug up a while ago. Let me see if I can get this clean and see what this is. Uh, it's just going to be some type of greeny. Uh, I see a little bit of stuff on it right there. I can't tell what that says. I'll have to clean it up later on. We might get enough off of it to see what this is. Could probably could be a KG2. It's too thin to be a KG3. Well, still out in this field. And got another good signal here. I don't know if you can hear me with the wind blowing so hard. It's, uh, this looks different. I don't know what this is. This may be uh, a new coin for me. It's ringing up. I'm not live digging these because a lot of times these coppers are so wiped. But see, that's got a different design to it. That's got a bus looking to the right. But that's not a King George III. And it's real thick. It's got some writing on it. Right there. I don't know who that is. This could be, man, I'm hoping this is Roman. Oh, look, that doesn't look like King George. I gotta quit rubbing it. I'm gonna see if these, what these, what these other guys say. This may be something different right here. Just dug up this button. It's a flat button, shank is still there. I think it goes quite like that. You can see some design on it. I can't really tell what it is, though. I like buttons that have design on them. Okay. Our host guy, he'll look at them tonight and he'll tell us what they are. Beautiful reservoir. Pretty good size. Keeps on going all the way behind me. Huge field. Just dug up a 910 signal. Got a little buckle. That's probably going to be, you see where the pin was right there. I don't think it's broken. I think that's just the way it, way it is. Hmm. Who knows? That's probably 15, 1600s right there. All right, let's keep rolling. I'm still working this little hill, this little area down to that low spot right down there. That's all I've been working on. You can find a lot of targets here. I moved over here in the old garden. It's got a lot of kale. It's not a garden. This is what they planted, but they didn't uh, disc the field up here. Getting a 22, 24 jumpy. And just pop that one up. I just dug a modern Queen Elizabeth. I wanted to come over here and see if there's anything old. And uh, this is kind of thin. I don't know why my camera is not focusing. <laughs> Let me clean it up and see what, what this is. Well, I don't have this coin. You can see the a uh, little bit of writing on it right there. It looks like a maybe a star. 
you turn it over and it's got that guy maybe a date on the bottom right there I don't know this is a new coin for me this is not something that I found before so could be thin like that could be 18 early 1800s I'm gonna look it up in my coin app and see if I can't find what that might be if I do I'll come back and let you know working myself back over and got a nice 1920 signal and I don't know if this is going to be a this could be a a uh, bell seal token but I mean a bell seal but it could also be a, a lead token it's got writing on both sides let me clean this up real good and we'll get a closer pick at it yeah, this is going to be a bell seal. You can see the two pieces of it and the wire there holding it together. It was pressed together. G.A. Ezek. Something. Can't make out the rest of it. Hey, I like that. I like these bell seals. Sometimes they're tokens. Uh, and they're kind of old at that. I did it. Finally got my first hammered. I'm digging up some good coppers and that Roman coin and I just popped it up. I saw the little silver tinge to it. I saw a little little cross on the back. So man, the pressure's off. At least I got hammered today. All right, let's look at it. There it is, ringing up a 13 or 14 right there. Check that out. You can tell right there, see it's hammered right there. I don't know what kind it is yet. A nice, nice hammered. May have a picture on the front. I think it does. I don't want to rub this too much. Let me get some water and let me clean this up. Yeah, it's going to have a, a portrait on it. If I can keep it in frame, looks like it's going to be a female. I can't really tell. All right, let me uh, do some more work on it. We'll get another shot. I have no idea what kind of hammer coin this is going to be. I'll find out later on tonight, and I'll tell you guys tomorrow. But you can definitely see the cross there on top, the circle. It's in great shape, too. Look at that. I'm hoping this is going to be... 1400s and earlier all right i feel so much better now that i got hammered so that's the very reason all the guys are out in the field over here and there was a 1500s house in that low area i found some coppers there and i figured there's nobody hunting up in this kale in this uh where it's undisturbed i found three coppers already one that's not a, a england copper so it's some other uh copper and then I've got this hammered. All right, let's get some pictures and let's keep swinging.